Welcome to Awaken Daily with Lucida of Twin Flame RX and Lucitero, here to bring you a new reading. Today's reading is about the energies between the DM and the Karmic in December of 2020. So where are things headed between the Karmic partner of your Divine Masculine or if you're the Divine Masculine looking for some answers, this could resonate with you. And who knows if you're a DF divine feminine and you also have a karmic partner situation this could resonate for you but i really am focused on the divine masculines uh past present and future energies and those of the karmic and how their connection or relationship or whatever you want to call it situation is going so if you like videos like this why don't you subscribe and hit that bell icon also hit the all so you get every notification when i upload my plan is in 2021 to definitely do daily readings i don't know if i told you but i made a major move across country and so in the united states and i've been sick um, a couple of times this year really bad so there's been some downtime but i really have a lot of cool things planned for this channel for 2021 so get on board don't forget to uh, let us know in the comments if this resonates if you'd like a personal reading because this one is general check my website or the description box below let's get started in the center we have the relationship energy represented by the emperor for both the divine masculine and the karmic so whatever's going on between them um, really is a power struggle because the emperor is the seat of power so between the karmic partner and the um, divine masculine there's this power struggle going on so you know one is dominating the other until basically the dm figures this out that the karmic partner is imposing their will on them or the karmic situation has taken away the free will of the divine masculine and created a situation where you know the divine masculine may have lost power but you know their goal is to stand in their power and that's part of their journey. So let's look at the energies of the Divine Masculine in the recent past, present, and future, and then we'll look at the karmic to understand this fuller or in more depth. So in the past, we see the Divine Masculine represented by that Queen of Cups energy. And that Queen of Cups energy up there in the top row for the DM is showing that the Queen of Cups is looking into the chalice so this represents looking into the subconscious mind so it's like the divine masculine is accessing or has been accessing in the past their subconscious mind thinking that um things were good with the karmic because they recognized a familiar toxic pattern and you know they were drawn to that and that's exactly what a karmic partner brings or a karmic situation brings it's like an addiction it's really a toxic pattern or situation that needs to be disrupted sometimes the divine feminine is just what you know is needed in this case to bring light to the situation not that the divine feminine has may say something about the situation but just their presence the light that they bring spiritually is going to help to uncover the fact for the divine masculine that they've been running away from themselves in a way with those limiting beliefs in their subconscious mind. So they're starting to realize that the reason why they were drawn to the karmic was because they had limiting beliefs. So presently, they're starting to dominate their own thoughts and defend what matters and become passionate over there with that Eight of Wands energy. Uh, basically, we've got the person kind of defending themselves and that's what the divine masculine is doing. But internally, they're doing this they're realizing the difference between their own thoughts and those toxic limiting beliefs that they keep perpetuating with these karmic partners and situations. So in the future, their energy is going to be more clear looking forward at what they have accomplished, what, they're, what they've left behind, and what they want to kind of bring forth in the future and you have that two of wands energy so the divine masculine is definitely looking toward or looking for that beacon of light again from the divine feminine 
and you've got the two wands there so that kind of gives me another clue that the divine masculine wants to look away from the karmic partner situation and start moving into a different energy if we look at the top card where the past energies of the karmic on the other hand, the karmic partner or situation in the past was very wily, cunning, kind of manipulative in some ways, but very passionate with that Queen of Wands energy. It's just that the black cat there, you know, has that mystical energy where the Divine Masculine may have thought that this person was, you know, a good luck charm or something to that effect. But presently they're seeing that the Divine or that the karmic partner situation really is... Uh, represented by that king of pentacles energy so it's a very earthy energy it's a very um basic energy i would say in the fact that the dm is realizing it's a carnal relationship that they had with the karmic or it's an earthly relationship it's it's about safety and security it's about money so I got cut off. It's about money and power with those pentacles um, for the karmic partner or situation. So the DM is realizing that they lost a lot of their own power in that situation. And what you see down there for the energy of the divine or of the karmic partner situation or how the DM is looking at that situation, they're kind of looking at the situation as the karmic partner is an opportunist or in some cases a fool um, but they're also seeing themselves as being able to embrace that fool energy and move toward the right person for them which could be the divine feminine who's watching the video so if you like videos like this again please like it share it don't forget to comment if it resonates and subscribe i will see you soon in the next Awaken Daily. Namaste.